In absence of single sign-on, the Peoples of Login screen could arguably be the most visited screen for any organization. Today, we are going to see how by changing only three lines of code and renaming two images, this login screen can be converted to these. So let us first find out how is this peoples of login page generated. This peoples of login page is generated using a static HTML. This HTML can be found in this folder structure on your web server. Go to PeopleSoft Home, Web Server, the instance name, Applications, PeopleSoft, Portal.war, once again, the application name. An easy way to remember this folder structure is that it is the same folder where your cache is generated. See? This is the web server cache folder. It is generated at the same place where we are going to make a change. So first things first. Let's go to the original CSS file. There are multiple files over here. Just find the correct CSS file. You can see over here. I'm going to make a copy of it. I'm going to do a control C. Control V. This is simply for a backup purpose. I already made one some time ago. Let me open this file and show you. This is the file and this is the background image that generates this texture the name of this file is bg texture.png and it is located in the images folder this images folder is also present in the same location let's open up and see what is actually the background image you can see this is the background image. This small strip is repeated from one end of the screen to the other end of the screen to generate a texture like this one. Similarly, let's find out which image is used to show this logo. This image too can be found in the same images folder. You can see it that its name is header, header.png. This is the same logo that you see on the people's of login page. So our task is very simple. First, let's change the logo. To change the logo, I'm going to create a logo with height almost equal to the Oracle Peoples of Delivered logo.
so let me check what is the height of this logo the height of this logo is 135 pixels so i'm going to use one image that i have already prepared and place it into this folder i'm going to rename the original folder original image as header underscore 2 and i'm going to rename my logo that i've created as only header dot png always remember the logo that we have prepared is with extension dot png now that i've renamed this logo you should be able to see the change on the pi once the browser cache is cleared i'm going to pause this video so that i can clear my browser cache so after clearing my browser cache i can see the logo has changed it is as simple as that always remember the height of the logo is a key over here the logo that i have used is 90 pixels in height which is producing this sort of layout now changing the background is as simple as this one once again i'm going to go back to the folder and find out what is the name of my background texture the name of the file that is generating my background texture is bg underscore texture the height of this image is 874 pixels and the width is only 20 pixels the image gets repeated so our job is to first create an image that can take the place of this image and second our job is to make sure the image is not repeated because our image is going to be a big one and it is going to cover the entire screen i have some images ready i have borrowed some images from few of my friends let me go one by one this is the image the height of this image is somewhat that we need so i'm going to copy this image and move it to the images folder now just like we did for the header header image we are going to change the name of the delivered bg underscore texture to bg underscore texture underscore 2 and i'm going to rename my image as bg, BG underscore texture once again all these images are in dot png format now that the switch has been made i'll go back to my page you'll see there is no change but i'm going to clear my browser cache and show you the page once again after clearing the browser cache i'm back so once i refresh i can see my image has taken this place but there are some issues with this the image is not centered and it is repeating itself for this we'll have to make changes to the css that we 
saved this is the css that we took a backup of and this is the code we are simply going to add two extra lines of code that's it I'm clearing my browser cache once again and I'm back now you can see the image has completely stretched out and it is well centered if i try to go with a shorter form factor i can see the image very well now sometimes you might think that this logo is completely unnecessary in such a scenario you can upload a transparent png file instead of this logo and get fascinating results Let me show show you a demonstration. This is a transparent PNG file with absolutely nothing in it. It is only 80 pixels in height and 165 pixels wide. I'm going to use this image as my icon. Let me first show you how it looks like. you can see this is a completely transparent image there is absolutely nothing in it once again i'll just do it quickly i have a header called header 2 i'm going to rename it as sorry i'm going to rename my header as header 3 and and i'm going to copy this transparent image into my images folder now you can see this header image will take the place of oracle peoples of logo i'm going to clear my cache once again you can see the image the logo has disappeared and sometimes this looks much better without the logo but it is your choice you can use your creativity i'll show you one more image transformation so i'm copying this as my background image it is as simple as this Once again I'll have to clear my browser cache. I'm back after clearing my browser cache and this is the new image. It is as simple as that. You just replace the image that you like and that will become your background image. These are the images that I've borrowed from my friend's Facebook profile. There's another trick you can use a gif image instead of a png image this is a gif file once again 
from one of my friends facebook profile i can use this as my background image only thing is we'll have to make a small change in the css that we have used instead of png i'm to go i'm going to go ahead and rename it as gif i'm going to save it i'm going to copy this gif image into the images folder i'm going to go back and clear my browser cache i'm back and so you here you have it this is how you can brand the people's of login page and change its appearance to make it look uh, more elegant or more uh, beautiful